Hi, I'm Mary Hart, and welcome to my second exercise video for Avon. How would you like to treat yourself to something special? I don't mean a shopping spree or that pint of chocolate chip in the freezer. I mean joining me in an easy to follow routine that will make you feel fit, firm, and fantastic. In this program, I'm going to help you firm up your arms, abdominals, legs, and buttocks. You should use this video about three times a week. It is a toning video and not an aerobic program, so you'll probably want to do some cardiovascular exercise as well. You could try running, biking, walking, or my Shape Up video. Whatever the exercise is you choose, be sure to consult with your physician first. The key to toning is resistance. When we do these exercises, try to make your muscles feel as if they're lifting small weights or pushing against a wall or pulling on an elastic cord, like this one, for instance. Now watch, as I pull, my muscles are really working. In order for this toning regimen to be most effective, you've got to apply this kind of effort or exertion. The key word, resistance. Don't just move your arms and legs through the air. Resist it. When I say resist in and resist out, you can see the muscle working. None of this. That's too easy. A few more things and we can get going. You know, we used to say, no pain, no gain. Well, forget about that one. We want you to challenge yourself, even if that means feeling a little bit uncomfortable. But if it hurts, stop. Relax and shake it out. Don't try to work through the pain. Be sure to stretch before and after the workout, even on off days. If you get sore, just take a hot bath. If that soreness continues, you might want to see your doctor. One other important thing, keep breathing. It's real important to breathe throughout all of the exercises. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Always exhale on the effort. Make sure you drink some water before, during, and after the workout. You don't want to float away, but don't let yourself get thirsty either. Don't eat for at least two hours before you start this workout. If you do, you're probably going to feel uncomfortable. And remember, before doing this or any exercise, consult your physician. If you don't make it through the entire video the first time around, that's okay. Just do the best you can. Think of the whole video as a goal you can work toward. So enough talking, let's get fit and firm. Okay, everybody, before we tone up, we're going to warm up. So start by placing your feet slightly more than shoulder width apart. Knees should be soft, pelvis tucked in, abdominals tight. Get ready to begin. And it's inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down. Now heel lifts. It's right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now looking to the right, it's right. Right, getting that neck warmed up. Right, left, right. Now ear to ceiling. Don't lift the shoulders, just bring your ear up. Five, six. Now contract, release, and it's in. Out, contract, release. Contract, one more. Contract, release. Now shoulders, working them individually. Five, six, seven. Now shoulders together. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Let's do singles again. Really feel those shoulders warming up. One more set together, and it's up. Lift it. Really work it. And step into it. Put a lot of energy into it. Now swinging the arms side to side. Five, six, seven. Now let's do eight circles. It's over. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, now four side to side. One, two, three, four, and circle. One, two, three, 
four and across for four again. Two, three, four, and circle. One, two, three. Now sets of two, and it's one, two, and around. And across, two, and around. Two more sets. One, two, and lots of energy. Twos, one more set. Now stepping back and clap. Two, three, four. Put some energy into that clap. Seven and eight. Now reaching out, out. Really feel like that arm is going all the way out in front of you. Warming up. Now arms together. It's reach. Six, seven, and single arms. Seven arms together again. It's reaching. Five, six, single arms. One more time, and it's right. Pulling it in. Six, seven. Now side to side. It's up. Really stretching those arms. Six, seven. Now turn to the side and reach. And reach it, pressing all the way down through the heel. Four. Five, six, seven. Get ready for contract release. And it's in. Release. In. Resisting with your arms. Two. One. Now leaning on that front leg, really stretching out through the calf. Five, six, seven. And bring it forward to the toe. Hold it there. Stretching the shin. Pulse. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now shifting your weight back, let's work the front of the right shin. And it's down, contract, down, contract, down, contract. Last one, now to tempo. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now shifting your weight again, bringing your arms over. Let's do the other side. It's up and down, reaching all the way up. Four, five, six. Pressing all the way down through the heel. Last one. Now contract, release. Bring it in and down. In and down. In and down. In and down. Putting your weight on that forward leg. Really stretching through the back of that calf. Hold it there. Now bringing it forward to the top of the toe, stretching the front of the shin. And pulse. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Bringing it back. Let's work the shin. Contract it. Working that shin. Really contracting that muscle. Press all the way down through the toe. Now to tempo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shifting your weight. Step back. Bring it to the center and small plies. Don't bounce these. Nice, easy bends. Working those legs, feel the inner thighs. Now to tempo. And it's one, bringing the right arm around. Let's give it a nice stretch. Five, six, seven, and switching arms. Keep those small pulses going. Five, six, seven, now side bends. Gently to the right, stretching all the way through the fingertips. Five, nice long arms, don't bounce it too much. Seven. Now get ready for shoulder presses. And step. Two, three, four. Really warming up that back. Seven. Contract, release. Contract. For two. Release. Contract. Release. Contract. Release. Contract. Release. Now slowly roll it up. It's one. Two chins. The last thing to come up. And inhale up and exhale down. And inhale one more time and exhale down. And we're ready to go on to the arms. Great, now that we're warmed up and our muscles are relaxed, we can begin firming. We're gonna start with arms and we'll be working all of the major muscles in the upper body. The biceps, the triceps, pectorals, the deltoids and the lats. Remember to keep your knees slightly bent and your pelvis tucked in while standing. Remember to create that feeling of resistance in and out 
is the key to making these toning exercises really work. Beginning with our feet shoulder width apart, once again, bring the arms up over your head. We're going to start working the lats. Pull it down and up, down and up, down. And really resist that motion all the way down and all the way up. Down and up, down. Three more. Down and up. And one more time. Down. Two. Three. Really working those lats. Five, keeping your shoulders low, too. Seven, now holding them down to the side. It's out and, and out and in, out and in. Really resisting out and in. Another set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now single arms, starting with the right, reaching and together. And it's one to the side, together, and another one. Really reaching. Imagine somebody pulling each hand. Oh, got me. Two more together. And reach, reach. Pull it in, resist it out. Three more. In. And right. And left. Two more. Hands. Pull, pull. And last one. Reach it. Pull it together. Now, working the tricep, back of the arm, push it back. And in. Soft fist. Don't hyperextend the elbow. Really feel that resistance. Work in the back of the arm, that area that tends to get a little flabby. Three more, two. Last one. Now hold it there and lift. Just press it back, small presses. Six, seven, and another set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Really resisting. Last one, and turning to the side, we're going to work one arm at a time. Lean on that front leg, bring your arm in, get ready to extend it back. And it's back and in, resisting all the way back and all the way in, back and in. Working that tricep again. Nice straight back, tummy's tucked. Last one. Hold it there for small counts. One, two, three. Keeping your shoulders squarely to the side. Don't let your chest open up. And eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now let's turn it to the other side. And we're gonna work the right arm. Back of that arm, keeping it nice and firm, bend it slightly, soft wrist. And it's back and in, back and in. Back, shoulders squarely to the side. Four more, three, two, and hold it there. Now small pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now bring it to the center. And it's down and up, down and up. Really resisting, working the top of the shoulder. And down, down, work it up. Two more. And last one, now hold it here and lift. Small lift, soft wrist, arms slightly bent, but really resisting, even though it's a small movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now pressing it in, it's in and out, in and out, in. Pressing through the heel of the palm, leaning forward slightly so that your back is supported. Last two. Last one, now small presses. One, two, again, through the heel of the palm. Really feel the energy going through the palm. Seven, and eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now thumbs down and small lips. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know it begins to burn at this point, but keep going. Just small controlled movements. Five. Seven, now bring them up, and we're going to work the chest. Hold it there, fists clenched, but not too tightly. Okay, you ready to begin? Here it goes. And it's in and out, in and out, really resisting. How you doing, Roberta? We're good, thanks. It's making me warm up. One more, hold it there. Now it's one, small lifts to the center. Four, five, six, Seven and another set. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three. Now side to side, stepping right and left, right and left, keeping those elbows up and keeping them together. And hold it center, two, three. Now lift it, one, two, three. Lift it one more inch and keeping those elbows together, really squeeze them and work it. Bring them down. Now we're gonna go on and we're gonna work the bicep. And it's in and out, up and down. Really resisting up and back. Four, three, two, last one. One, now single arms. Putting your left arm on the forearm of your right hand, really pressing it down and resisting the motion. Because the more you resist, the better off you are. Two more. Last one here, now small pulses. One, two, three, four, five. Really working that bicep. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now let's switch arms, bringing it down and up, down and up. Three, four. Really resisting. Make that arm work. Six, one more. Now small pulses, it's one. Three, four, five, I feel myself getting stronger. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bring it down. Now just gently bringing your arms up over your head. We're gonna stretch out the shoulders, grab that right elbow and gently press it. Your hand falls between your shoulder blades. Just relax it there. Inhale and exhale. And let's switch arms. Gently pressing the left elbow now, hand falls between the shoulders. Enjoy that stretch. Bring it up now. And we're gonna go to the floor and continue with our push-ups. As you do, keep in mind, there's several ways you can do these. The easiest way is to simply do them standing against a wall, and you'll see Stacy demonstrating that in the back. Or you can do them on your knees the way Linda is doing them over here, with her feet elevated, ankles slightly crossed. Or there's a third way that is just a little easier, and that is, as you see, Stacy and Roberta with their feet straight on the floor. The important thing is to start out with your abdominals tucked to support your lower back. Hands should be shoulder width apart. We're gonna do three sets of eight. Let's begin. And it's done. Exhale, down, exhale, exhale. And four more. Three, two, and last one. Now, leaving your hands there, gently sit back and stretch it all the way through the shoulders. Enjoy that stretch, because we've got two more sets to go. Hold it there. Now bring it forward, get ready for our second set. Let's go. And it's down, exhale up. Down, exhale up. One more. And stretch it back. Enjoy that stretch and be sure to breathe. Exhale deeply. Now bring it forward, get ready for our third and last set. And it's down. And up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. And one more. And once again, stretch it back, leaving your hands where they are. Enjoy that stretch. Bringing it forward, sit down, and you know what? We're gonna move on to abdominals. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. Keep them nice and tight, and be aware of your lower back. You wanna keep your back pressed into the floor. So to begin our abdominal work, what I want you to do is sit back, grab your knees gently, roll down onto the floor, Putting your hands down by your hips, bringing your feet up into the air and crossing at the ankles. We're going to start with reverse curls, working the lower abdominals. And it's lift and down. Controlled motion up and down. Three and down. Don't let it just fall down. Hold it down slowly. Three, two, and last one now to tempo. It's lift, two, three. Very small controlled motions. And eight more, really working those lower abs. Three, two, one. 
uncrossing your feet, bringing your hands up to support your head and your neck. We're gonna lift it from here, and it's one, two, three, four, and clap it. Two, three, four, and lift it straight up again. Three, now between the legs, reach it. Two, three, four, and don't forget to breathe. Three, four, and clap it for four. Three, four, now lifting again. Three, four, and between the legs. Two, three, now let's do sets of two. One, two, and reach it. Two, down, two, and through the legs for two. Reach it. One, two, through the legs, and two more sets. One, two, and clap it. Two, through the legs. And last set, tap it. Reaching through the legs. Now bringing your legs down. We're gonna climb the stairs. Get ready, it's one, two, three, and down, and lift. Two, three, and down, and lift. Don't let your head go all the way back down to the ground. Bring it just about an inch above the ground as you come down. Controlled movement and up, up, higher each time. And it's lift, 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 and two more. And it's lift, 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 last one, and it's lift. And down, now working the obliques, it's up and over, back and down. Now to the left, over, leading with that elbow. And it's lift, up, and down, and it's lifting, over, back, and down, and two more. Now we have one more. And over. Now it's pulse. Small lift, straight up to the ceiling. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now extending the right leg, flexing the foot, bringing it up to the ceiling. Five, six, Seven. Now let's pulse with a heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now keep pulsing with your chin, but bring that right foot over and extend the right arm. Now we're going to work the obliques again, lifting elbow up and down, over to the knee and down. They don't have to touch. Just work that oblique by lifting a little bit. Six, seven, and eight. Now keep pulsing straight up, it's one. Bringing that right foot down, extending the left leg and bringing it up. Seven, get ready to pulse, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and pressing your lower back into the ground. Let's do this last set of eight. Five, six, Seven and eight, and bringing that left foot down. Keep the pulses going straight up. Bringing the left arm out. Let's work the left obliques. And it's over and down, and over and down. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, and eight, and bring it back to center and pulse again. Two, bringing that left foot down. Five, six, on eight, hold it up there. And it's one, two, three, and down. And two, two, three. And hold those muscles tight, pressing your lower back into the floor. And down, and don't let your head go all the way to the floor. And down, it's up, two, three, and down. And three more, two, three, and down. And two more, two, three, and back. And one more. Now hold it there and let's pulse it again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now there are two ways to do these. You can leave your feet on the floor where they are. You can hold them up in the air. Five, six, seven, and let's do another set. I don't hear anybody breathing. And last set. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and relax it down. Arms out to the side, bringing your knees in. 
gently roll over to the right and let's relax it out. You've done a good job. Really exhale through that stretch, keeping both shoulders on the ground. Now bringing the knees back to center and let's roll them over to the left side and stretch out to the other way. Inhale, you can feel real proud of yourself. This is not easy. And bringing it back to the center. Now, stretching the legs out, bring your arms up over your head and imagine somebody grabbing your fingertips and your toes and stretching you as far as you can be stretched. Lifting your back off the ground, really stretch those abdominals and hold that stretch. Now holding the stretch, but pressing your back into the floor. No space between the floor and your back, really holding that stretch. And release it. Completely relax, take a couple of deep breaths. One more time, somebody's grabbing your fingertips and your toes and stretching you all the way. Now holding that stretch, pressing your back into the ground. No space between the floor and your back. And release it. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Now, bringing your knees into your chest, cross them gently at the ankle. And we're going to slowly rotate the legs clockwise. Just massage that lower back. Rotate them slowly. And now back to the other direction. Relaxing that back. And uncross your ankles. Let's roll up. And it's time to begin inner thighs. Now that we've enjoyed that nice long stretch, we're going to go on with legs. One of the most difficult areas of our bodies to tone is the inner thigh. But these exercises will definitely help. Getting into position for inner thighs, lie down on your side, supporting yourself with both arms, and straightening the bottom leg, flexing that foot, bending this one, putting your foot right behind your knee. Get ready to lift it straight up to the ceiling, and let's begin. And it's up, and down, and lift. Resisting that movement all the way so it's a nice controlled motion and really working the inner thigh. You'll be glad you did. Last one. Now press it through the heel. Two levels. And down. Really forcing it through the heel. Up and down and up. Two more. And last one. Hold it there. Now small lips. One, two. Just pulsing it up. Five, six. This we can do two sets of. Again, eight, seven, six, five. Really working the inner thighs. Now get ready for the next motion. It's in and lift, bend it and lift, bend it and lift. Keeping that foot turned out so you're working the inner thigh. Two more. And last one. And relax it down. Now let's swivel around. Go to the other side, do the same thing, stretching out the bottom leg, bending that back one, flexing the foot, supporting yourself with both arms, get ready to lift. Here we go. And it's up and down, up and down. You can really feel the inner thigh working if you resist the motion. Up and down. Three, two, get ready for the next move. And it's pressed through the heel, two levels, High and low, really working the inner thigh. And press it. Press it. Last one. Get ready for small lifts and it's pulse. Two, three, four, five, six. Small lifts again. Another set. Eight, seven, six. Go ahead and count with me. Four, three. Next move. And it's bend and lift. Bend and lift and breathe. Last one, and relax it down. Now, 
grabbing your knees. Gently roll back onto the floor. We're going to continue with inner thighs, putting your thumbs underneath your hips, extending your legs straight up. Get ready to point out and flex in. And it's out and in, out and in. Controlling the movement. And four more. Resisting the movement. Last one. Now, point, 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 and in. Three, four, five, six. Stopping every step of the way. Last one. And hold it there. Now bring it in, 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 and out. Flex in and point out. Flexing it in, stopping every step of the way. Another set. Really working the inner thigh and breathing as you do it. Three more, and it's two more. Last one. Now keeping your heels together, toes pointed out. We're going to bring it down and up. Press it up. It's down and up, down and up. Forcing those knees together. Your ankle should be directly above your hips. Three, two more, and one more. Now bring it down, knees in, knees out, and up. Heels down, knees in, knees out, heels up. And resisting the movement every step of the way. The more you resist, the better your legs will be worked. And four more. Press it up, down, as if you have a giant spring between your knees. Forcing them apart. You're going to resist it and force them in. Last one. Now get ready for small presses. And it's heels together, toes out. Press, press. Four, three, two, one. Another set. Two, three, four, five. Almost finished. Seven, eight. Bringing them down. Grab your ankles. And with your elbows, press your knees apart. And exhale through that stretch. Relaxing those inner thighs. You've worked them out hard. Now lowering the feet to the floor. Let your knees fall apart. Press your lower back into the ground so your back is supported. And relax those legs. Just hold it there. Straighten out the legs now. And let's roll over on our stomachs. This time we're going to go to the quadriceps stretch or the hip flexor stretch. Extend your right arm. With your left arm, grab your left ankle and press that hip flexor into the floor, really feeling the stretch on your thigh. Hold it down there, keeping your knees close together. And exhale through that stretch. Now lowering that leg, let's go to the right leg. Grab that right ankle, knees together, press that hip flexor into the floor and exhale through the stretch. it there and relax the leg and we're ready to go on to outer thighs we begin by lying on our side supporting the head using this hand for support in front straight legs bring them forward lift the top leg then the bottom leg get ready to lift and it's up and down and up really working the outer thigh by lifting it straight up to the ceiling and and down, and four more. Don't let those hips rotate back. You want to keep them rotated forward. Last one. Now it's point, flex, lift, and point, flex, lift. Small, controlled lifts. Point, flex, lift. Four more. Three. Two more. And get ready to push through the heel. And it's press, low, and and down. Make sure that you're breathing all through the exercises. Outer thigh straight up to the ceiling, hips forward. Two more. Now get ready to do the square. And it's forward, down, back, and lift. This shouldn't be too big a square, but it should be a nice controlled square. And forward, don't let that foot drop. Control the motion down. And forward, control down, back, and lift. Now four more. Down, back, and lift. This is great for your legs. Back and lift. 
We've got two more. Back and up. And last one. Now get ready for small lifts again. It's point and flex. Point and flex. Again, keeping your hips pivoted forward. And four more. Three. Two. We're almost there. Last one. And bring it down. Once again, rub it out. Relax that hip. Now we're going to sit up and stretch it out. Crossing that leg we just worked over. Sit up with a nice straight back. Your weight should be equally distributed. And just exhale through the exertion and through the stretch. Enjoy that stretch because we're getting ready to go on to the other side. Now stretch it a little more by just gently leaning forward again, keeping your back nice and straight. Exhale. Hold it there. Okay, now let's swing it over and begin with the other side. Supporting your head by putting one hand under, another one in front, legs slightly forward, feet flexed, lifting the top one, bending the bottom one, and it's up and down. And up, outer thigh straight up to the ceiling. Controlled movement. And resisting it both up and down. Three more. Two. And one. Now point, flex, lift. It's point, flex, lift. Point, flex, lift. Point, flex, lift. Getting rid of anything you don't want on those legs. Two more. And last one. Now pressing through the heel. High and low, up, down, really pressing, and make sure that your hips stay forward. Imagine somebody standing behind you with their foot on your hips, pressing them forward. Last one, now it's the square. Forward, down, back, and up. And it's forward, a nice, small, controlled square. Make sure you don't let that foot just drop. And it's forward, down, back, and up. Forward, down, back, and up. And forward. Two more. And last one. Get ready for small lifts now. And it's point and flex. Point and flex. Really stretching through the toe and the heel. Two more. Last one. And bring it down. And rub out any tension you might have. Now let's sit up and stretch out that leg by crossing it over the other one and really enjoying a nice stretch. Straight back, weight evenly distributed on both sides, and just hold it there and exhale. Breathe through that stretch. Now walking it forward just a little bit further. Feel that stretch through the back of your leg. And hold it there. Okay, we're ready to move on to the last part, the back of the legs. We now have just one more area to concentrate on, the hamstrings and the buttocks. And the positioning for these exercises is very important. We need to support the lower back. As you see here, Roberta is supporting herself on her elbows. She has a nice flat back, her head is in line with her spine, and her abdominals are tucked. So let's begin. Now that we're in position, let's extend that right leg and flex the right foot and get ready to lift for two. And it's lift, lift, down and down, and up, and up, and down, and down. Don't lift it too high. And up, up, down, and down. And four more. Three. Two more. Get ready for point flex lift. And it's point flex lift, small controlled movements. Four more. Last one. And it's extend out and in. The legs should be parallel to the ground. Point out, flex in. Point out, flex in. Really working the heel and contracting as you come back. Last one. Now point the toe and bring it down and up. And down and up. 
Down to the outside of the opposite leg. Two more. Last one. Now small lifts. And it's flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. Don't forget to breathe and keep those abdominals tight. And last one. Now all the way down and up. Foot flexed, controlled movement. Down and up, and it's down and up, down and up, down and up. Last one, and relax it down. Now let's lean back on the leg we just worked, stretching out the back of the leg, in through the hip, just lean through that. that stretch. Now let's go back to center. Same position. We're going to work the other leg. Extend the left leg back and flex the foot. Get ready to lift it for two. And it's up and up and down and down. Bringing it into the same position so your knees are even. Up and up and down and down. And it's up, up, down, down. And four more. Two. Last one now, and get ready for point flex lift. And it's point flex lift, point flex lift. We'll do eight of these. That's four, four more. Three, two, and get ready to extend it out. Point the toe out and in, and it's out. Leg parallel to the ground, out and in. Flexing that foot and really squeezing as you come back. And out. And in. Two more. Last one. Now point the toe and bring it to the opposite side of the other leg. Two. Really lifting it, but not too high. Abdomen tight. Four more. Three. Two. Now small lifts up. And it's flex and point. And flex and point. Flex. Controlled movement. Really squeezing the buttocks, abdominals tight, and breathe. And last one. Here it is. Now bring it all the way down and up. Foot flexed and up. Pressing through the heel as you go up. Keeping the back nice and flat. And last four. Three. Two. And one. And sitting back on that leg. Stretching through the back of that left leg. Hold that stretch. And exhale. Good. We've completed the workout. Now let's continue with our cool down. Well, that's it. The workout's over. It's time to cool down and stretch those muscles one more time. Make sure to keep breathing while you stretch. Deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And stretch out gradually. Don't bounce when you stretch. We begin our cool down stretch seated, legs crossed in front, nice straight back, hands in front ready to stretch up and inhale. And it's inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down. Now bringing the left arm over, bring it down in front. Nice long arms over, down, and over. Over one more time. This time slowly bring it up and get ready to place your hand on your head. Leaning forward, leading with the chest, and hold it there. Bringing it back up. Pressing it down, other arm, and it's over, and down, and over, and down, over, and down. Last time, and down, and slowly bring it up. Gently place your hand on your head, leading with the chest over the knee, and hold it there. Bringing it up, arm down, 
Now, let's put the leg straight out in front. Taking the right foot, crossing it over the left knee, grab that knee gently, and look back over your right shoulder and just hold that position with a nice straight back. And exhale. Turning back to center, uncross the legs. Now bringing the right foot into the left knee, leading with the chest, stretch down over that left leg. Exhaling as we stretch down and hold it there. Now see if you can walk it just a little farther down. Rolling up, let's go on to the other leg. Crossing the left foot over now, grabbing that left knee, looking back over the left shoulder. Nice straight back again. Bringing it back to center. Placing that foot on the inside of the opposite knee. Leading with the chest, let's lean it down over the right leg. Don't let the chest collapse, keep it high. Nice straight back stretching from the lowest vertebra and feeling the stretch on the underside of the leg. See if you can stretch it just a little bit further without straining too much. You want to make sure it's comfortable. Hold it there. Now, bringing it up. Legs together. We're going to get ready for the back contract release. Knees together. Up on all fours. Hands shoulder width apart. Get ready to contract and release. And it's contract. Release. Contract. Release, contract, release, contract, release, and one more, contract, release. Now putting your toes into the floor, let's walk it back, legs straight. Putting your hands on your knees for support, gently roll up. The chin is the last thing to come up. Stepping to the center, turning to the front. Arms over your head now. And stretch it down. And up. And down. And up. And down. And up. Soft knee. And hold it there. Now, reaching over. Swinging that arm down, bringing the other one up. And hold it there for a nice stretch to the side. Bending your knees slightly and bring it down. And shoulders up, back, down, and forward. And up, back, down, and forward. Two more times. Back, down, and last one. Up, back, down and forward. Feet together. Get ready for our final stretch. Stretch it. Pushing through the palms. Bring it center. Other side. And really enjoy that stretch. Last time. Bring your arms down and inhale up and exhale down, and inhale up, and exhale down, and give yourself a round of applause. Well, you did it. Congratulations. You're on your way to looking and feeling fit, firm, and better than ever. Just keep at it. I know exercise can seem difficult at first, especially if you have a job and or a family to take care of. So try to think of this tape as a special gift to yourself something you do just for you. If you make it a habit, you'll bring that fit and firm feeling to everything else you do. 
Take care and don't quit.